This is PBL Scenario C, Cognitive Presence Within FOLC Environments. And this is Dr. Roland Van Oostveen in the Faculty of Education, Ontario Tech University. This PBL scenario is part of the EDUC 5102G Education Technology and Communication course within the Graduate Master of Education program at Ontario Tech. And it is formatted as a problem-based learning object that's been modified into a video format. The analysis questions for this scenario are as follows. Number one, what are the major differences between the community of inquiry and fully online learning community model definitions for cognitive presence? Number two, describe the relationship that exists between the fully online learning community model and Popper's cosmology. Number three, describe the relationship that exists between the FOLC model and Benz's constructivist informed S science and technology framework. Number four, describe the relationship that exists between the FOLC model and Desjardins' socio-constructivist theoretical model. And number five, describe the relationship that exists between the FOLC model and PBL models in all of their forms. And again, to orient us, uh, here is the uh, a depiction uh, in graphical form of the FOLC model uh, as it's currently uh, presented by the EI lab. And uh, we are, again, taking a look at the dimension cognitive presence um, in sort of an empirical reductionist kind of mode, uh, cognitive presence as separate from the other dimensions, social presence, collaborative learning, and digital space, uh, which we are treating separately as we move through. Uh, the original definition uh, in uh, COI environments uh, for cognitive presence uh, by Garrison Anderson and Archer in 2000 is that uh, it is designed as the extent to which learners are able to construct and confirm meaning through sustained reflection and discourse in a, continue, a critical community of inquiry, taken from page 11. And this builds on two previous models, uh, Dewey's model of practical inquir inquiry, and you can see that in a series of books uh, by John Dewey in 1933 and following, um, and uh, Kolb's uh, 1984 experiential learning cycle. Um, and uh, I won't say any more about that, but you can go on to take a look at it yourself. Uh, then the fully online learning community modifications of community or sorry cognitive presence given within the FOLC model, which differs from COI, is uh, that of a thoughtful, reflective, and analytic process that directs the quality and quantity of critical thinking, collaborative problem solving, and construction of meaning that occurs during community member interactions. Bleo and Natal, uh, 2016, state that FOLC des, uh, definitions aligns with the models already mentioned, not only with respect to their social constructivist epistemological stances and rigor, but also in terms of open learner-centered democratic and cyclic ways in which those models conceptualize knowledge construction. Uh, knowledge creation, evaluation, acceptance, and promulgation in that learners are immersed in a deeply creative, self-generating, knowledge-constructing process. In addition, the FOLC recognizes the increasing overlaps between social presence and cognitive presence in today's online environments. As Armelini and De Stefani, uh, 2015 state, social element permeates most layers of cognitive presence and that's on page nine of their particular paper. The uh, cognitive pro, uh, presence processes in FOLC environments build on three major frameworks. Um, the first, and, and we'll take a look at uh, this in just a little bit, um, Popper's three worlds cosmology or his model, which creates a conceptual space, uh, world three for publicly contestable uh, i.e. arguable knowledge artifacts. Uh, the second one is constructivism formed science and technology education framework, which was created by uh, Larry Benz in 2008. And we've already taken a look at problem-based learning models, emphasizing the analysis and interpretation of context 
uh, that is problem creation or finding rather than teacher defined problems or triggering questions. And here I give you a graphic that allows you to take a look at uh, model five as compared to the rest of the models in uh, Maggie Seven Baden's work in 2000. Um, so here is a graphical depiction of Karl Popper's Three Worlds. Um, note that even though this particular uh, version of this uh, graphic um, suggests that World One talks about reality, I would prefer that you actually think about it as the physical world um, as compared to reality because uh, we'll make the contention that reality is what we make of it, i.e. we each make our own realities and they are shared to a certain extent, but not 100%. Uh, world two exists within your mind, so it's personal knowledge um, as separate from world one, which is outside of your body. Um, and world three are the artifacts that are created as a uh, an interrogation and a, a production of ideas and models about World One uh, are related to others. Uh, so it's the production of these artifacts in a number of different kinds of ways. Um, and this uh, diagram is uh, taken from uh, Learning Circuits blog, and you can see the URL there. Uh, Larry Benz's constructivism informed science and technology education processes are outlined here. There are three cyclical processes and then subsidiary procedural kinds of pieces. So if you want to think of it this way, um, and it would be helpful, the inside big blue circle is actually declarative knowledge that you're creating, whereas the brown um, maroon colors off to the, uh, the size of the procedural thinking cycles. This is about how you go about creating this declarative knowledge. Um, if we start at the expressing ideas, the, uh, 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 the idea there is for the facilitator, um, uh, individual who's, who is acting as a more knowledgeable other, and we'll talk about that in just a second, um, is going to be eliciting from the other learner or learners uh, what they already know about a particular idea, and we'll call that expressing ideas. Um, in the learning ideas phrase, um, you should uh, be cognizant that you are going to be presenting or the, the person who's working as the more knowledgeable other is going to be presenting alternative perspectives of the particular concept or theme that's being studied um, and making them uh, non-authoritative in the sense that they are open to be uh, conjectures that can be refuted or worked with, examined, etc. And then the judging ideas is uh, not so much um, an evaluative kind of piece, but it's an individual exploration of uh, the original ideas that were expressed in expressing ideas as compared to the alternative perspective that were was um, examined or presented by the more knowledgeable other in the learning ideas and trying to figure out on an individual basis, does this work for me? Which of these is better, uh, et cetera? And then being able to actually express those ideas again, uh, once you get back around to the expressing ideas, and then you go on to a new topic. Um, the uh, slide number nine uh, talks about socio-constructivist theoretical model. And this again comes from Desjardins, who put together um, this graphic to uh, examine the, the idea of the more knowledgeable other, called here the assistant, uh, assisting the learner to be able to actually create uh, new knowledge um, at the boundary between the uh, pedagogical uh, space, the uh, um, uh, zone of proximal uh, dimension, which is labeled here as pe pedagogical space, um, and pushing the, challenging the learner to move to that interface between what they can actually do with the assistance of an MKO or an assistant um, and what they cannot do. So you're constantly moving that upper boundary and you'll see that uh, highlighted by the double headed arrows uh, that are opposing each other in this diagram. 
Um, and here you get a depiction of Mehi Seven Baden's uh, five models um, and a brief uh, description of the differences between the two, uh, given a number of criteria that are given in the left hand column knowledge, learning, problem scenario, students, facilitator, assessment. Uh, and this is taken from um, uh, Anne Louise Davidson and Nadia Nafi's work uh, within the BA in ESDT program here at uh, Ontario Tech University. And that brings us to the synthesis questions for uh, PBL scenario C. And these are, number one, why is the cognitive presence dimension of the uh, fully online learning community uh, set within the context of a community of learners when logic and the development of critical thinking skills seems to be individualistic in nature? Number two, why is Popper's cosmology juxtaposed to the socio-constructivist frameworks and models? How are they related and how are they different? Number three, do you think it matters how freely community members are able to carry out their investigations of their problems within an FOLC environment? Why or why not? And that, of course, is a relation, uh, re, uh, reference back to problem-based learning. And number four, what might be the role of neuroplasticity or personal construct psychology in the development of cognitive presence in a fully online learning community environment? And that brings us to the end of scenario B.